Welcome to the volume breakdown indicator video. The short recording is going to cover how to add the technical indicator called volume breakdown to the chart and show you how to manipulate some of the various things that are most popular among the users. So it is a technical indicator so you'll add it just as a technical indicator. To access it, one way to do this is right click the chart and say add, delete, edit and we want add technical indicator. Now there's multiple ways to add technical indicators. This is just the one way that I'm doing this right now. And it's called the volume breakdown indicator. So I'm going to click here to jump down to the V's. Click on volume breakdown and when you do, it shows you the preferences for the indicator. Delta is the most popular by default and let's just go with that. Click add and close and you can see it adds the delta for each bar at the bottom of the chart. So basically, if you tally up these deltas, which is the net buying or net selling for each price, if you were to add them all up, it would equal this, which is a positive value, and you can see the scaling over here. So some of the common uses for this is to look for spikes in the aggressive buying or aggressive selling. Another way is just to confirm trend. As For instance, as the market trended lower here, you could see the delta was mostly negative. When we finally had this one big buy, buying bar, that kind of capped the move to the downside, market stabilized, and then we can see it, it ended up reversing in this case. Another way that users like to look at this is to add these all up and just track it over time, track the delta over time. One way to do that is just we'll double click, just double click the indicator to access the preferences, check this box where it says accumulate days values, and just say OK. Notice it's a histogram, and you can see the magnitude. It's negative, so it's a fairly heavy selling day today. The market's down pretty big. This is the stock market. And we could change this to be a line, which may be better. And let me just change the weight, just to give you an idea of how you may want to see this. So that would be, that would be one way of, of doing it, just as a line. And you could compress the pain if you wanted. Another popular way of looking at this is the delta bars. And you can see when in this drop down, there's many, many things that you could choose. I'm not going to detail each of these now, but these are all defined in the knowledge base. And if you do a search for volume breakdown, you'll find that these are there's details or definitions for each of these. So we choose delta bars. And I'm going to uncheck the accumulate and just say OK. You can see now basically it puts a bar. It looks like a candlestick. And what it is, it's just a, it shows how delta traveled, the high and low for the bar. So you can see, for instance, on this one, the market had traded all the way, the delta had traded down to here and then bounced and it closed up here. When, when, this pri when price closed and it advanced to a new bar, that's where the delta was. Another thing that's really cool about this indicator is the ability to apply various statistics or other indicators to it. And if you notice, I'm well, let's go back to Delta. Because remember, Delta by far is the most popular and it's going to be the most flexible. You can use the other ones, but this will be this is a great example of a very common use. Delta, and I'm going to choose indicator, and I'm going to choose moving average. And you can just click setup and specify what type of moving average. For instance, if I wanted an exponential uh, nine period moving average, just click OK. And then I'll click apply. You can see is what it does is it takes a moving average of the delta and allows you to see how it's tracking against price. Some of the common uh, rules of thumb here would be looking at the slope. Notice it turned the slope, it turned up before price actually reversed. Those are some of the common things to look for. Uh, those are the relationships you'd like to see. An advanced use would be to apply a volume filter to this so that this was only tracking particular size. 
So let's say, and this is the S&P E-mini, say we only wanted to track uh, 250 lots or higher, and we, we wanted that to be reflected here. Well, one way we could do this would just to be open up the preferences for your uh, footprint and apply it right here, volume filter, and click click OK. You'll notice the footprint changes just to show only those trades, which means this only reflects that same data. However, this may not be a good way of doing it. Maybe you do still want to see all the footprint data, but you would like to see this be reflective of only those 250 lots. One way to do that, and this is somewhat advanced, but would be to add an, add an invisible footprint type to the chart and then apply the indicator based on that and apply the filter that we just talked that I just showed you apply the 250 lot filter to the invisible footprint and so then this would be calculating off data that you couldn't see but was using the filter data like I said that's somewhat advanced but that's one way that this is getting put to use one of the things that's mentioned in some of the other videos is the trade speed indicator and you can go to the knowledge base and type in trade speed or trade speed indicator and you'll find an FAQ that describes what it is but this is where it is it's it's located in here these ones these are the these are the settings for it another thing I haven't mentioned is that you're able to record these values say we're calculating well this value we could record this into a V pound which is a variable which can be called upon using the RTL language within Market Delta. Now in order to do that the professional or pro complete edition would be required but it allows you to compute some very specific data and then utilize it in more of a systematic or programmatic manner within the software to compute other things and, and produce signals. So that's a little more of an advanced way that is available. That concludes this video. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to email or call us. Thanks, and make a great day.